One little girl isn't playing nice. All this week, we've been sharing local ghost stories and the history that comes with them. Tonight, we've saved the most notorious spot for last. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers takes us inside the Sally House in Atchison for one last scary story. Part of what makes ghost stories fun are the urban legends that come with them. For this last story, we went to a home in Atchison that scares even the ghost hunters. That's why we visited during the day. From the outside, it just looks like a plain white home. But inside the Sally House, there's definitely a creepy vibe that lives up to its reputation. The Sally House has just gained fame over the last several years. Andrea Clements works with the Atchison Chamber of Commerce, which manages the house where Dr. Charles Finney lived in the 1870s. The bottom floor was basically the doctor's office, his examination rooms and um, surgery rooms, operating rooms. Legend has it a frantic mother brought her dying daughter here over a century ago. Her appendix did burst while she was on the table and she passed away. Today, the story goes that the spirit of a little girl named Sally now roams free. From the creepy cellar to an upstairs room filled with toys. But Sally often doesn't play nice. There's been tons of reports, mainly by men, who experience being scratched. This room definitely gives me the willies. Even the professionals are wary of this place. Sally House has gotten to me. Elijah yeah. Buchholz has spent several nights here with his team at Apex Paranormal Investigations. There's definitely something in this home and it's something that shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah, you can play with the toys. In Sally's room, balls and toys have reportedly moved on their own. Oh. <laughs> Bill and I go to the basement when you with sent us recordings from some of his investigations, which also include mysterious footsteps at night. It was pretty disturbing. It was very disturbing. But the strangest thing about the legend of Sally... It's really hard to sort fact from fiction. ...is that most of it's not true. There was never a young girl by the name of Sally who lived in town. Sean Daly is an anthropology professor at Lehigh University who's researched the history of the home. Really, up until about 1992, when a family with the last name Pickman moved into the house, there's no activity associated with that house. But even he believes there's something creepy here. Yeah, weird stuff happens in that house. We've had objects move. We've had people get scratched. Um, we've had window blinds open and close themselves. We've had things talk to us. The current owners even leave the radio on to keep Sally happy. They determined that Sally liked the radio, and from now on, we leave the radio on. A joint discussion. That's the fun thing about ghost stories. In some ways, they're more about the living. They're a part of cultural beliefs around the world. It's something we as human beings all share. If you stay multiple nights, it will get worse. Atchison welcomes the legends and skeptics brave enough to visit for themselves. When we have consistent reports from people that align, then you really feel like something feels like it's happening here. Halloween night is almost here, but even after, you can still tour the Sally House and some of the other historic haunts we've shown you this week. To find out how, visit KCTV5.com. Nathan Vickers, KCTV5 News.